So I think we're on, what is it, day eight, nine, something like that. Haven't done an update in a little while because I got some crazy stomach thing. So I've been laid out for like two days. It's not been fun. Um, the boys got to go in, check out some villages, hop in the water, try to surf some waves. But we're kind of just getting crushed by a lack of significant groundswell, but a bunch of... Uh, east southeast wind swell from all that wind that you saw earlier in the trip so it's kind of jumbled everywhere but the winds just cut out so that's promising again we're at a new spot and it uh, looks like a big storm system's rolling in it's dead low tide now we'll see what these two potential waves the left and the right do when the tide fills in but we're getting closer and closer to surf mode there's uh more more waves on the horizon on the forecast so We'll see, we're switching gears. I was bummed, I got super sick. Probably the most promising dive spot that we came across. Um, didn't get to dive it, because I was laid out, clutching my tummy. Um, but yeah, hopefully get in the water, chase some fish, and get some waves soon. It's about, I don't know, what, 15 minutes later from where we're just talking about the front. It just hit, and in about five seconds, the entire lagoon changed. Like, look at how much white caps. This wind gust hit so fast. The temperature dropped probably like six degrees. Now it's just pure white caps. It's crazy how these storms in Fiji just hit like a ton of bricks. It's more so than, I, than Hawaii, I feel like. It's just, super tightly packed storm systems that change from sheet glass to just a gale. It's pretty crazy. Hopefully we'll be surfing today. <laughs> I don't know by the looks of this. The anchor is back home now and we are finding a nice sheltered spot to go and hide from the next wind coming up. Eh? <laughs> Probably it's time to go to the mangrove now, eh? And hide from the strong wind. It was a good experience running and jumping into the water, and uh, it's part of the adventure. So hopefully that was the first and the last eh? wind to come. Pinaka. <laughs> Another update. Um, that storm just passed, and it's sunny again. And uh, so we had to move the boat, get to a safer anchorage, and it passed through, and there's another reef passage that we haven't even looked at yet, and we saw from a distance. And you can see this right, that looks like it's peeling, and then I looked in the binos and saw one just blow guts. It's like the best single wave I've seen on this whole trip so far. Oh, look at that set. Uh-oh. And uh, 
I don't know. You might be coming into some real waves here. I hope so. I hope, hopefully it wasn't a fluke, the one I saw through the binos, but we're on it. Okay. All right, take the boys out. Okay. Salty dogs out on the reef today, out in the waves, eh? Huh? There you go. <laughs> Alright. See you tomorrow, eh? Mark, what's this goofy ass board you're riding? I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> why is the wax all over the bottom? I hit my head really hard a couple days ago and I didn't tell anybody. <laughs> what do you think, bro? It's got great shape. It's definitely shallow and small, but corny. See what kind of stents there are. <laughs> Small but corning. It looks like small but very hollow right hand tubes, which is a great improvement over what we've had thus far on this trip. And especially with the white squall that hit us earlier, to have conditions like this now, and the sun's probably gonna pop out, it would be a nice little change in the action for us. So taking my shoreboard, 510. Go suss it out. Check back in shortly. made all the crossings worth it. <laughs> that was insane. It was better than expectations from when we saw the first waves in the vinyl. Holy. It's just endless barrels. Kind of feeling it out at first because so many of the waves over here, you have to look like you're on the shoulder kind of for it to be makeable. But this one, you actually want to be deep. Like it wants you to make the wave. But it changed probably three times while we we're out there and the current just started ripping out of this pass. It's like hard to get in from the lineup. Like you couldn't really stay in that lineup right now for too long without just being smoked. I'm like burning up. I feel like I sweat off 10 pounds in the last half hour. But it was 
awesome. Good way to get the sea legs out. Two days after the sickness, you're out there. Yeah. The after, perfection after the squall. You're getting dysentery like a real pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Ned got like 8 million barrels. <laughs> I think I captured like a quarter of them. <laughs> I want to see how this one pass by turned out though. That one, I jumped off my board and swam towards it. It's on super wide mode, so it'll probably look like a mile away, but my eyes underwater look the same. Thank you. 